All right, hello and welcome back. I'm Sean T.D. Stewart, the home gamer, and I'm here again playing Final Fantasy XIV Stormblood. Sorry, I turned out my lights a little bit. Um, where we left off in the previous episode is we completed the main scenario quest titled above the churning waters and we're continuing with the main scenario uh, by talking here to Lise. Let's find out what we have to do next. The path forward. And we're not getting our weapon yet. So we'll be getting some material from this quest. Lise is not willing to let this opportunity pass you by. Let's accept. There is no time to <clears throat> there is no time to lose, Sean. General Alden needs to know what we saw. Alright, let's go. So we're going to be reporting on the status of this cannon, the Imperial Cannon. That's what she's referring to. Which has apparently been uh, gravely damaged. Or actually, let's go ahead and teleport. You are returned. I only hope you bring good news. We scaled the cliffs and young Krep's hope, and spied smoke rosing from Kasher Mabanya's main cannon. I think Marshal Telepin's right. They didn't fire again because they couldn't. The cannon seems to have been disabled somehow. Then we must attack Kasher Mabanya at once. Hmm. It could still be a trick, but if it isn't, we may not get a better opportunity. Bluntly, General, if it is a trick, it is an utterly, utterly baffling stratagem. Had the Imperials wished to wipe us out, they could have simply kept firing. Be that as it may, we need not risk everything to seize it. I say we dispatch a small contingent to infiltrate the castrum and secure control of the weapon. If the enemy is preoccupied with repairs, we may be able to take them unawares. If, on the other hand, it is indeed a trick, our token force will prove an elusive target and we will at least know the cannon is operational. Either way, it seems like it's well worth the risk, but how are we to infiltrate the castrum? In anticipation of such a day of, of a day such as this, men and women under my command have labored long to cultivate a network of informants through Gurlabanya, including Radiata. Radiata is home to many who hold menial positions at Kastrumabanya and other nearby installations. With the aid of our allies there, I believe we can secure a route into the fortress. The resistance will handle this. You may have recruited these informants, but they may just be may just as happy working with fellow Alamegans. At the end of the day, it's our land, our responsibility. Let us do right by Conrad. I should be glad to be to accompany her, General. As would Alize and Sean, I am sure. Yeah, man. Well then, you are all in agreement. I see no reason to refuse you. We make ready to march on Kashramabanya. Go and may Ragar watch over and keep you. All right, let's talk back to Offenold. My apologies for speaking on your behalf. It was seeing my sister's forthright manner as rubbing off on me. I confess my decision to volunteer was not wholly motivated by concern for Lise, no less Alamigo. Kashamabanya is the largest imperial facility in the peaks, you see, and so the likelihood of Kral being held captive there is quite high. Dealing with that cannon remains our main objective, of course, but there is even a chance that Kral, Krill may be rescued in the process. I would never forgive myself if I did not take it. Agreed. Let's do that. Complete. Alrighty then. Thank you very much for watching. I'm Sean T.D. Stewart, the home gamer. You're watching me play Final Fantasy 14 Stormblood. That quest was rather quick. But thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please tune in again next time. The quest we just completed was called The Path Forward. And next episode, we'll continue the next main scenario quest. So please tune in for that. We'll see you all then. Bye.